few people know exactly what they want to do coming into college, but I was one of those few. At a young age, I fell in love with the ocean, the power, the beauty, the overwhelming sense of humility it brings to me. I knew I had to be around the ocean for the rest of my life, no matter what I did. And when it came time to decide where I wanted to go to college, I can't exactly explain what drew me to Virginia Tech, since it's not exactly the best school for marine biology, but I was compelled to come here regardless. After a difficult first year of adjustment to college life as a biology major, I took my first steps toward becoming an ichthyologist and switched to marine fish conservation. It wasn't until my junior year, however, that the pieces finally started to come together. I found small moments of affirmation that this was what I was meant to be doing, from the thrill of riding on a motorboat at the crack of dawn to hunt for fish, to the compelling smoothness of a catfish felt for the first time, to the joy of catching my first bass. And I was finally taking classes that held my interest and captivated me. I was learning about ocean currents, different methods of catching fish, how different species work together in perfect harmony to survive. There was so much I didn't know and so much to be learned. For the first time in my academic career, I actually found myself researching on my own to find answers to my questions, to satisfy my curious thoughts. It wasn't until my ichthyology class that I realized how much I had yet to learn. My fellow classmates seemed to know so much about fish, their common names, where to find them, how to identify them, what they like to eat. I was intimidated by my lack of knowledge. I then had a decision to make. I could either let that insecurity hold me back, or I could use it as a fire within me to ignite my desire to understand more about fish. I decided to accept the fact that I didn't know much about fish, and use this class as a way to expand my knowledge. I spent more time on my lab notebook, making sure I knew what each fish looked like and the defining characteristics to identify it. I asked questions when I didn't understand and just googled about fish more in general. I read more articles about fish and the new discoveries we're finding out about them every day. And the more I learned about fish and all the complexities about them, the more I fall in love with them and the more I know that I'm right where I'm supposed to be. My grades are now reflecting my understanding of my major and I'm even going to Australia next semester to study near the Great Barrier Reef something I've always dreamed of. I still have a long road ahead of me and so much more to learn, but I'm on the right path and well on my way to becoming an ichthyologist.